What's up my friends? My name is Albert Lopez. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for cruising in. Thanks so much for clicking in. Before we get started, I want to let you know, yes, there is some links on the bottom that you can click. I got my TikTok. I got my Instagram. I got my Spanish TikTok. I got my Spanish YouTube channel. There's another podcast and YouTube channel that I do down there with my wife too. You can check that out. That's out of the way. But also really important, if this is the first time you're here, very nice to meet you. My name is Albert Lopez. I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Go click, click the subscribe button right next to it. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifications every time I upload a video. If you're coming back and you're already subscribed, boom, good looking out. Thanks for coming back. If you haven't subscribed, again, I extend an invitation to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so they'll let you know when I upload a new video, which is usually two to three times a week. Let's get started with today's video. Today we're going to be talking about be in love with what you do. You got to love whatever project you're working on, whatever it is, whether it's for health, wealth, love, or happiness, whatever it is that you're working on, you got to be in love with it. Now, this is probably a little bit of a, a shift of what you may have heard before or we have heard before. Love what you do. That's, that, that's another thing. What I'm trying to deliver here is be in love with what it is that you're doing. If you're working on a new side project, a new side hustle, a new, a new business, if you're working on a new workout plan, if you're working on bettering your, your self-love by maybe reading or uh, consuming some content, if you're working on, on becoming a better member of, of, your, of your crew, of your family, or how to be more grateful and you're taking you're taking the time to consume uh, content that'll help you be more grateful with what you're doing you're doing something make sure that you're giving it your all and that you're in love with what you're doing what I mean by being in love with what you're doing is you need to be so in love with what you're doing that you're willing to share it with anybody with no hesitation, no type of embarrassment, no type of being shy because you don't think it's that good because because it's not coming. You're not getting the results that you want because it's something that maybe others have made fun of because you don't think it's good enough. All those things are an indication with what I've gone through that you're not in love with what you're working on. If you're in love with some drawings that you're making or some art, an art business that you're starting or an art collection that you're starting or the way you're customizing shoes or, or, or the way uh, uh, an exercise plan that you got going on, like I said, a new business, a new product that you're coming out with or even uh uh, a side hustle of whatever. If you're not willing to show it to everyone with just this glow, this tremendous amount of super pride, despite what level it's on, just starting, uh, a little bit past just starting, in it for a minute, in it for a while, you got to love it from the get you got to love it from the beginning and be willing to show everybody this is what i do i want to offer it to you everybody should have this everybody should try this everybody should be doing this with me if you're looking to do this this if you're looking to uh, improve your health look at what i'm doing this is the best thing ever i love it it's great i share it with you if you'd like to try it i came up with it or i found it or i made a a a, a a variable of it i changed it a little bit and made it my own this is what i'm offering if you're not that excited, passionate, in love with what you're doing, you're not going to want to show it off. It's not going to grow, and it's not because you're not showing it off. It's not growing because you, he you haven't even bought it yet. You don't believe in it 100% yet. And if you don't believe 100% in it, that means there's something that you're hiding about it. If you're not, if it doesn't taste 1000% to you, 
And you don't even think so? Or you think there's a little something in there in all the workings and all the, 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 the sprockets and cogs and all that that's in there and it's working and you're not happy with one little tiny screw because you know it's a, a, a less than, than high quality little nook and cranny little screw and you're not happy with it. And because of that, you have this little pokey thing that like uh, it's that one thing I hope they never find that's going to be the reason on why it doesn't bring you full happiness and and and, and a, a tremendous amount of joy because you're always fearful of that one thing that you're not in love about your product your service your exercise the thing you're taking on so you have to make sure that you're completely in love with it and willing to just be completely transparent with it and open all the inner workings and, and express every single little thing about it and be totally just ecstatic about it because it's the greatest thing ever. That's how much you should be in love with what you're working on. So when you do share it and you get the naysayers, you get the haters, or you simply just get the people that don't 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 vibe with it. They don't, that's just not their thing. They don't, they can't appreciate it because it's okay you'll find your tribe, right? So there's going to be people that are not into it. They don't see things the way you do. It's nothing, something that they're not interested in. And they'll express that in different ways from really nice to the opposite, which is real mean. And you're going to run into one of the real mean people and they're going to say something nasty about whatever it is that you're working on. But because you love it so much, it's not going to affect you. And you're going to be able to like, okay, cool, move on to the next one. This is the greatest thing ever. This is the greatest thing ever. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this. I want to show everybody it. Anybody wants to hear me about it. I want to talk about it because it's the best thing ever. That means you're in love with it. If you have something that you're hiding about it or have something that is not 100% and someone hates on it, they might not even, they might not even know about the thing that you know is not 100% about it. And you get a hater, you get somebody that just doesn't vibe with it and, and gives you a mean opinion about whatever it is that you're working on. It's going to hit you bad. You're going to be like, dang, I knew it. I knew this wasn't going to work. I knew something's going on. Like, uh, now I'm going to hide it even more. Now I'm going to be shy about it even a little bit more. Now I'm not going to want to talk about it even a little bit more. You may not never say those words, but that's the way it's going to make you feel. If you're not. 110% in love with it, what makes you think anybody else will be at least 50% in love with it and learn to be 100% in love with it. So make sure that you love what you do. Make sure that you love that you're in love with what you're doing, whether it's reading a book, whether it's watching some guy on the internet, whether it's, it's reading a blog, whether it's following somebody on Instagram or TikTok, whatever it is that you're doing that you find it's really cool about that person or about that project that you're taking on make sure that you're in love with it a hundred percent you're in love with what it is that you're working on and willing to share every detail about it and if there's something that you don't like about it that you're embarrassed to talk about it because of whatever reason do whatever it takes to fix that first and adjust it or change it or poke it out or do whatever it is that you need to do to change that so you're not 99% in love with what you do and you're 100% in love with what you do. Hope everybody's having a great day when you're watching this video. That's going to do it with today's video. Thank you so much again for clicking in. Thank you so much again for stopping by. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. You got my TikTok link, my Instagram link. Also, if you or someone you know speak Spanish and they want to check out these videos in Spanish, I also have my Spanish TikTok and my Spanish YouTube channel linked down below. Thank you so much for cruising in. I think that's going to do it. Also, the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. So YouTube will give you notifications every time I upload a new video, which is multiple times a week. For the meantime, thank you so much for click. <laughs> thank you so much for, I was going to say cruising in and clicking in. So both of them, thank you so much for cruising in and thank you so much for clicking in. My name is Albert Lopez and I will see you in the next video. I'm gone. I'm out.